Hey everybody, uh, Professor Klein here, back in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University, and today I'm joined by a special guest, one of my long-time teaching assistants in human anatomy, Jake Netherton. Jake, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so like Ian said, I'm a long-time anatomy TA, three semesters with Professor Klein. I just graduated this past December with a degree in exercise physiology and I also got accepted into physical therapy school here at OU, so I will start that this May. Future PT knows anatomy, loves anatomy, and he's bringing us a new model today. You've seen this model, and you've seen the inner ear like this, but now you're about to see the inner ear like this. But ciao! All right, so this is it in here, and I'm gonna get real close so that you can see what we're looking at here. It's the cochlea, it's the vestibular apparatus, but this model, it's a bit too small. I wanna see it zoomed in here. So first thing I've got is the cochlea. Cochlea right here, it's a spiral organ of hearing, and whoops, it's gonna spin around about two and a half times and it comes apart. And when we look at it here, there's a couple different chambers in here. Jake, do you know these different chambers inside of here? Uh, I do. So you happen to have three chambers and I'll go from top to bottom. So on top, you have the scala vestibuli, AKA the vestibular duct. In the middle, you have the scala media, aka the cochlear duct and on the bottom you have the scala tympani aka the tympanic duct all right i think you've earned usage of the magic probe so i'm going to pass it over and let jake keep going he's kind of the sound effect guy around here so you might hear him say some of his famous sound effects but Keep going, Jake. What would be this nerve? <laughs> it keeps falling apart. What would be this nerve branching off the cochlea? There's a specific nerve. Any thoughts? So this nerve branching off the cochlea is going to join right here and form a nerve that goes back to the brain called the vestibular, the vestibulocochlear nerve. So if you break that down, you have the vestibular apparatus right here, the cochlea right here, if you break down that word, that means this is the cochlear nerve. You got it. Cochlear nerve, vestibular nerve, branching together, merging together to form the vestibulo cochlear nerve. That's like on this one where they're merged. You guys see those two parts in there? After they merge, it's the vestibular cochlear. All right, you know what? We're done with this. I'm done with this piece. I've got <laughs> other videos on this but I really just want to show you the rest of this model. So in here, we've got a couple of things. What do we got? Tell them, tell the world. So vestibular apparatus right here, responsible for balance and equilibrium uh, in all planes of the body. So we have right here a view of this apparatus upright. And I like to point that out because it's hard to decide which one of these is which. It's hard to tell these two little bumps apart. This one right here on top, and this one right here on bottom. So it's important to know when this apparatus is upright, which one's on top and which one's on bottom. Well, tell us which one's on top, which one's on bottom. <laughs> this one on <laughs> top right here is uh, called the utricle and is responsible for linear acceleration. I uh, know I like to remember that um, thinking of Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt's really fast in the linear plane. So any forward, backward, side to side motion is gonna be detected by the utricle. Show the top. people, show the people, love that. There you go, we'll get real right close. There. That big bump, that is the utricle. Okay, now we're gonna to move to the bump on the bottom. It's kind of blue on this model. This is considered the saccule. And the saccule is responsible for vertical acceleration. So I'm gonna go up, down. The saccule is gonna sense that acceleration. It's that blue bump beneath the utricle. The saccule is beneath the utricle. 
Lastly, we have these three big loops oh, right whoa. here. Before you go on, I got a mnemonic for the Sakyo because you said it was the same bolt for the each recall. I'm saying the Sakyo is like a spaceship, SS spaceship, and that spaceship goes vertical when it takes off. So that's how I remember vertical movement is the Sakyo and horizontal movement is the each recall. Sorry, S -S sorry to interrupt. Go spaceship. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, now we have these three loops right here and if you kind of if you know the planes of the body you'll be able to notice that there's one for each plane of the body you have the sagittal plane semicircular canal and the sagittal plane the transverse plane right here the semicircular canal and the transverse plane and the coronal plane aka the frontal plane the semicircular canal for the frontal plane and what these are going to detect is rotational acceleration and they specifically do that by a structure at the root of each of these canals called the ampulla 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 right there it's kind of mm -hmm. like an amphitheater that would open up for a performance you're, you're saying these ampulla open up at the base of the semicircular ducts exactly correct yep and there's one for each semicircular duct uh, or cool. semicircular canal i guess well that's a great question what's the difference between a duct and a canal when we're looking at here i'm going to steal the magic pro back but you did an awesome job working through that and talk about the gray versus the white the gray is a semicircular duct it's deeper ducts are deeper when it comes to the semicircular areas and this would be part of your membranous labyrinth. Membranous labyrinth is filled with endolymph. And I won't go too deep into it because there's another video already talking all about the different levels of the inner ear. So check that video out if you want to see more. But the great part is the membranous labyrinth, which is the semicircular ducts. Now those go up and around. You can see it goes through the ampulla. It makes up the utricle. So the utricle and the saccule are also part of the membranous labyrinth. But there's something called the vestibule. And I'm going to point to kind of this harder, let me get it in view here, this harder exterior, which is part of the bony labyrinth that would cover the utricle and the saccule. So the vestibule covers the utricle and saccule. Just like over here, the semicircular ducts are covered by the white part. You guys see the white part there? Those are the semicircular canals. Cal canals are more exterior. So that's about it, except for you can actually see the oval window and the round window on here. The oval window would be a, a membrane opening going into the scaly vestibuli. And that would be going around and around the cochlea. And then the round window would be the exit from the scaly tympani going out to the middle ear and the astatian tube, right? But Jake, is there anything else? I feel like we covered quite a bit. Anything else to mention on, on here? Actually, yeah, there's this large dangly thing that's kind of just dangling off of these uh the utricle and the saccule here okay what is that um i think this is the endolymphatic sac right here and it is a reservoir for paralymph and endolymph um like mentioned ian mentioned earlier or professor klein mentioned earlier professor klein <laughs> and uh basically those are both fluid that um is inside of the membranous labyrinth and the bony labyrinth cool so we got a a sac here and a duct here and not a lot of models show this so when you see this don't get thrown off uh, this is a structure that helps with the inner ear all right that's all we've got on this model hit the like button subscribe should they comment they should comment comment Ask Jake what it's like to be going into PT school or what it's like to be a TA. If you guys want to know that, 
we can make another video with some information on how to become a teaching assistant and really how to be successful as an undergrad to get to that level of being in PT school. So pat on the pat on the back for for Jake. But this is the end of the video. I'm Professor Klein. Jake Netherton. Thanks for watching.